I'm Joe from Toby Dynavox. I'm here to take you through how Communicator 5 enables our users to take charge of their own AAC software and organise which apps are available on their own homepage. So I'm on my homepage at the moment and one of the apps in here is called Edit Homepage. If I come here, I've got various options, one of which is the plus sign where I can add new page sets or apps to my homepage. I'm going to come into our pre-made text communication apps where I have uh, access to things like different keyboard layouts, the ability to go on Facebook or Skype, accessible browsers such as Firefox, the ability to have an app that brings me out of Communicator 5 so I can access third party programs, and the ability to change my own settings quickly. For instance, adaptive buttons. If I want to quickly be able to choose what the adaptive buttons on my i13 or i16 are going to do, I can add that to my homepage. I'm going to come to Windows Access because I also want an app that allows me to come out of Communicator 5 and, let's say, browse the internet. So I'm going to add Go to Desktop to my homepage too. If I come back, text communication is where I have pre-made pages. But you can see I also have a section called My Page Sets. If I download a page set from our website uh, called Page Set Central, this is where that app is going to be saved. And I've downloaded a Kindle app. Some other good ones you might want to check out are uh, Facebook Messenger and uh, we've got an app on there for um, WhatsApp too. There's also sections here if I want to be able to launch into other Toby Dynavox programs, such as Snap or Boardmaker. And a really nice feature is if I come to other files and applications, I have an accessible uh, version of my file browser where I can come into any file on my computer, such as within my C drive, and launch any program that's on my computer or my AAC device straight from Communicate 5. So you can see I've chosen to add a few different apps to my homepage and if I come out of the edit section I now have those available to me here. Adaptive buttons, go to desktop and Kindle. I'm going to come into Kindle and from here I can launch the Kindle app. Browse my library, choose which book I want and then uh, use Communicate 5 to read that book. I'm going to come back to my home page and edit again. Um, perhaps I want to move uh, these apps around, change the location. I can do that by selecting them and then choosing to move them around. If there's anything on here I don't want access to anymore, I can choose it and remove it from my home page. This doesn't delete it from the software, it can be added again at a later time, it just takes it away from my home page. I can also choose to make one of these apps my startup page. So if I, for instance, wanted my keyboard to automatically load up as soon as I went into Communicate 5, I can set that as my startup page. And that's now going to open when I open Communicate 5 because that's the app that I use the most, perhaps. Um, I can also change the grid size. So as my access improves, I might want to have more apps available. Or if I'm getting tired, I might want bigger targets. So I'm going to choose to have a smaller grid size and you can see now that I've got bigger targets for my apps. Nothing's gone though, I can scroll across and have access to everything that I had before. Um, we can also change the colour of the background. Um, perhaps as I'm getting tired, I don't want the colour to be as bright if it's late at night. I can change, choose my colour um, quickly and easily via this editing option. So thank you for watching. Hopefully that shows how you can take charge with Communicator 5.